What's going on? Johnny here. So I want to share with you a game that you can play in order to help you improve your creativity and imagination. So you can play this game by yourself or I highly recommend play with other people. So I like to call this game How Many Uses and this is how it works. So pick an object then think of as many ways as possible to use that object. So what might happen is maybe you pick an object maybe like a TV and you can only think of maybe five things in the beginning. And the reason for that is because maybe you're not really tapping into your imagination and creativity. You kind of have the in-the-box thinking. So what you have to do is kind of go out of the box thinking. You have to unleash your creativity, unleash your imagination to think of the most unique and different ways to use an object. So say for example, um, I have a piece of paper. Now, what are the different ways I can use a piece of paper? Well, common and boring ways are, you know, you could write on it, um, you could paint on it, you can fold into a paper airplane, and so on. But that's not really out of the box thinking, you know. That's of course what you expect to use a piece of paper from. And that's not really using your creativity or imagination. So now let me use that. So um, say you have a wobbly table, you know, because one of the legs is a little bit shorter. You could fold the piece of paper up and stick it under the leg so it stops wobbling. Um, you could use it as a knife to cut something. You know, it may be a very poor knife, but uh, you know, you do get paper cut, so you can use it to cut something. Uh, you can use it as a hat, you know, fold it up, wear it as like a little hat. Uh, you can use it as a spitball, right? You know, crumple up, big spitball. And so those are some of the uses that are more, you know, creative and imaginative. But when you play with other people, that's where it get, gets really fun because you can see the other uses people think of. You're like, whoa, I never thought you could use an object like that. And so you can see the creativity and imagination of other people and start to get that in your own head, you know, get your own creativity going. And also when you play with other people, you know, you can start competing. Like, you know, I want to get more uses out of everyone. You know, I'm going to try to get like 50. And so it's just a lot more fun when you have other people because, you know, you start competing. But also you get to see their own creativity, their own imagination, which is really unique and amazing to see, you know, how other people think. And so this is more of a game to help you get your creativity and imagination going to kind of get that out of the box thinking because as you know when you use memory techniques you have to use your imagination so any way you can improve your imagination and creativity is going to help you when you actually go to learn information so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time